Hello, and welcome back to Focus Atlanta. Thanks so much for continuing to watch. In this segment, we're going to focus a little bit on Climate Couture, Couture Fellowship, and I'm here with Esteban Gast. Hello. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> it is good to meet you. Thanks for coming on the show. Oh my gosh, of course. I'm so happy to be here. Well, you got to give me the rundown. Tell me a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. What, I, I want to know everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So... So I'm, I'm the comedian in residence. And this is on my shirt. I'm really dressed up. This is exciting. Uh, at Generation 180, which is this national nonprofit, and it's working to like inspire and equip people to take action on clean energy and climate. So that's like big picture. And what we're so excited about is we just ran this program like a few days ago, Climate Cultura in Atlanta. And what it does is it trains Latinx, Latin American creatives to tell, like create art and tell stories about climate change, about like solutions. It's really solutions oriented um, and like Atlanta specific stuff that's happening in around climate and like the environment and clean energy and like solar power. It's a really, really cool program. It's a paid program. So a bunch of Latinx creatives come, they learn and then they create art from that. Oh my goodness. So this type of fellowship, really, it's keeping you in your lane, but allowing you to do some education. Is that right? Yeah, that's it. No, that's exactly it. Well, my, my background is in education before I like got into comedy and writing and, and all the things, right? into like the Hollywood side of things. But yeah, but, but I think for a long time, I thought, oh, I really care about climate, but how, but I'm not like in the nonprofit world. I don't, and I didn't know what to do, right? So I'd like go and volunteer and, and do things. And, and only recently, and honestly, Generation 180 really made this big difference. They, they were like, you can come work for us and be the comedian in residence. You don't have to be marketing. You don't have to, you can actually come do what you do. And that, you know, like it, anything that you do anything that anyone does can intersect with climate. So they're like, of course, a comedian who's a former teacher can help run programs around climate. <laughs> so we, our first program was this program called the Climate Comedy Cohort, where it trains, it's a national program. It trains like professional comedians to, to write jokes and again, like create art, make videos around climate. And this one is a little more focused. It's on Latin Americans. I'm Latin American. My parents are Colombian. I lived in Puerto Rico and Panama. Um, and this one's a little more, more focused on Latinx creatives and more focused on Atlanta only, which we're really specific about, like just focusing in on cities. Um, because I think that's what you tell, like stories are really wonderful when they're specific, right? When they're specific to a certain place, yeah, specific to a certain idea. Is he talking about climate change, right? It could be like, oh no, is it? If we're gonna talk about how doom and gloom and everything is scary. And, and that's just one part of the story. There's also, you know, like a few years ago, this, this bill got passed. It's called the Inflation Reduction Act, which is a, a funny name. But it's like the most meaningful climate legislation. And it has a ton of money. G Georgia is the number one beneficiary of like getting all this money to build solar power plants, to build electric vehicles, to build like it, a ton of clean energy jobs. And my thought is, and what research shows is, not too many people know that. So, of course, there is urgency. Obviously, this is a really important issue. But I think at the same time, something that we don't talk about is, hey, there's been solutions at like a federal level and at like specific levels. There's like, you know, at Atlanta's doing incredible things. So I think yeah. there's to change the script a little bit uh, and empower artists to like learn and engage and become ambassadors to us is like a really, really exciting thing. It is really exciting. I'm so I'm so happy that you came on the show to tell us now. <laughs> I, got, I, I, I know you can't leave me without giving some kind of website because I want people to be able to tap in, you know, once they, they learn and get, get as excited as I am. I want them to be yeah. able to go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, what do I do now? This is a good point. This is, yeah, I mean, you can go to generation180.org, such as generation180, and from there you'll see all the programs and one of my favorites, which people are, are going to tell, is there's um, like it's this solar for schools. So you can be an advocate for your kid's school to get solar panels. And people have done this and the, the school has saved money and given teachers raises. I mean, this is, th these are like the solutions, right? People walk around, and they're like, oh, no, climate. And I'm like, totally. And also, you know, like, yeah. it, it, what can I do? It's like you can actually go advocate for your kid's school and it can save money and kids can learn. And so there's so much stuff. So it's generation180.org. You can find out there oh, all I the good it. things. 
that too. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for making us, you're right. Sometimes we feel like, oh, that's fantastic. I wish there was something I could do. For yeah. you know us to be able to get connected, maybe through this website, um, is huge. So thanks so much, it was good to meet you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys, you can get excited about it too. All you gotta do is go to the website and see how you can get tapped in. They have these fellowships, they have, you know, again, they're all across the country, but we're right here in our own city. We could do something. There's something you could do right now. Go to the website and learn more. Thanks for tuning in to this segment. We'll be right back. <laughs>